is nice, honey. Good morning from Atlantic City. This morning we got here a little bit later than we typically do. Uh, we started fishing probably around 8.30 in the morning. Um, we started actually out here on this jetty to the left. Um, we do have one keeper dog coming this morning. Had another couple smalls that we had pulled up as well. Um, as you can see, we are at high tide now, almost exactly on the dot today, and that jetty is getting quite wet. So we moved up here to the boardwalk area. We are right in front of the flagship in AC. Awesome spot to fish. I uh, was able to pull up this 15 inch fluke earlier. Um, so he got tossed back and we are focusing on fluke now, but we're gonna have to move the car here soon. And uh, we're gonna mosey around. I'll show you all the little spots that we hit here in AC. Alright gang, we moved down here to the sea wall. Let's talk about tog for a second. So, tau tog fishing, uh, which we didn't even know was a thing until the other year. We discovered our love for this in Sea Isle City. And um, tau tog fishing is very unique in that they hit very fast and very hard and you've got to be ready to pull them up. Unlike other fish, you do not want to leave slack in the line for tog. Um, because they will run off, you will be under a rock. They love the rocks, they love the jets. So they eat crustaceans. So our setup here is a bit of a weight. I'm very, very light. I only have a three quarter ounce. Um, can go up like two, three ounces here in the waves. And then our, on the hook, just using sand crabs. So the tricky thing about them is, as you can see, they can get in there and they can steal the meat right out of the sand crab shell and it's gone in a flash and they don't get the hook. So what this sand crab should look like is this. So they should have all of their little parts. This is a little one. Um, but this is what they love. They love these, they love green crabs, any kind of um, shellfish is what you're gonna want on the line for a tall. Let's keep going and try and get some more. Tog fishing is super fun and fast action, but the one thing that can cause an issue is getting stuck in the rocks. Because they uh, love to be around the jetties and the rocks and things, and they are super fast, as soon as they bite, they're gonna go right into those rocks. You do get stuck a good bit. Oh, he went into the rocks. Oh, that looked like a big one. That was. <laughs> I think that one would have been pretty nice. And in areas like where we're at here in this video, and you cannot drop your line straight down, you do wanna kind of keep the line slowly moving in just so you have less chance of it getting uh, caught into the rocks through the waves. But even so, even when you're careful, you're gonna get stuck as you can see here. If you do get stuck, you want to pull your rod straight back as we were doing so that you don't put a crazy bend in your rod and risk breaking your rod. Pull it straight back like that, and if you still can't break it, or if you're using braid and it's a really tough line, you may just need to cut the line. But there is a good chance that you'll lose some gear, so just be prepared for that. Because these, uh, this is just crabs that you're putting on the line usually, or some kind of shellfish, you don't need a swivel. You can just uh, tie your weight and your hook at the end of your line, so you don't have to lose any extra gear that, that isn't needed. So whether you're fishing for these from piers, from boardwalk, from sea walls like this, or if you're out on the jetties, be careful, have a blast, and keep those lines super tight to pull in those togs. They are delicious. I just got stolen. <laughs> 